Jordan 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 Riverdale's dynamic duo Lily Reinhardt and Camila Mendez are getting candid about their rocky road to fame, but most importantly, the unbreakable bond that keeps them going strong. Today's episode is brought to you by The Uncarrier. With T-Mobile One, get all unlimited, all in. Don't let their acting skills fool you because this inseparable pair is just as good friends off screen as they are on. You may recognize them from CW's hit breakout show Riverdale as best friends Betty and Veronica, but in real life, they're not too far from their own characters. Lily Reinhardt and Camila Mendez sat down with Cosmopolitan Magazine, where they talked about their newfound fame the struggles it comes with, and their relationship that makes it all worthwhile. They're learning to deal with fame as they go, but the journey wasn't quite off to an easy start. Camila, being Brazilian, talked about getting typecast when it came to roles before Riverdale, saying, quote, A lot of the roles I read for were the urban, underprivileged kids that grew up in the Bronx on shows that were about crime. I didn't want to play a stereotype. I still find myself even post-Riverdale, where I'm not Latino enough and I'm not white enough. On the contrary, Lily talks about the stereotypes that comes with being blonde, saying, I'm white and I'm blonde. Sometimes that can be a blank slate, but other times you're put into the girl next door corner, which is what Betty is, but Betty is so much more. With Betty, I look the part, but there's a darkness that goes for me as well. And speaking of darkness, Lily revealed that after she moved to LA to pursue acting when she was only 18, she fell into a deep depression, causing her to take a breather and move back home for a year. She opened up about her current struggles saying, quote, it can come and go in waves, which makes it a little more difficult because you're not really sure when one point ends and another point begins. It can be based off a certain situation or it can be seasonal or it can have no reason at all because it doesn't need a reason. Thankfully, both Lily and Camila turn to each other in times of need, so it's safe to assume they know almost everything there is to know about each other. Ending their interview on a much more lighthearted note, they were challenged with the newlywed game and things kicked off real strong. Swim suit, bathing suit. Same we thing. were together. Yay! <laughs> Until the end of the game, that is. Valerie, oh, mine's the Lizzie McGuire song. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made. <laughs> Regardless, their bond is still apparent both on and off screen. So for all those hashtag friendship goals, be sure to tune into Riverdale every Thursday on The CW. But right now, I want to know what your thoughts are on Camila and Lily's interview. So get talking in the comment section down below. And after that, be sure to subscribe for all the latest news updates. Thanks for hanging. I'm your host at Vivian Fabiola V on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. And then click to the left to see what happened when Pretty Little Liars cast stopped by The Ellen Show. And thanks to our sponsor, T-Mobile. Stream all the music and videos you want with unlimited data from T-Mobile.